What's up everybody, it's Giancarlo and we are back with a collection video, this time my Nike SB collection. I've been collecting SBs for a couple years and without realizing it, I slowly grew a collection and I was like, you know what? I've been making some SB content lately and especially with all this buzz going around about the new SBs coming out, etc. figured I might as well throw my collection into the mix. So if you guys are new around here, consider liking and subscribing as we got a giveaway this video. So it's gonna be at the end of the video. So just stay tuned for that guys, watch all the way through. The first thing I wanna talk about in this video is addressing what a Nike SB and a Nike Dunk is because I recently learned it and I've been doing this for a little while now. So it's like, it's just kind of confusing for me at least, maybe some of you guys too. The Nike Dunk was a sneaker catered to basketball and that came out in 1985. And these are some of the models that released. It wasn't until 1998, 13 years later, that they were like, yo, let's make this into like a more casual sneaker. The SB line skateboarding took off in around 2002. And the difference between the dunk and the skateboarding was that the skateboarding model was catered for skaters. It had a thicker pad and the materials were pretty durable to last, you know, skating grip tape. The Nike SB line also carries a little bit into the Jordans, which is what I'm gonna talk about first out of my SB collection. So this video is a Nike Dunk and a Nike SB collection, but because they're thrown together so often, I figured I'd just put them both together in for this one collection video. So let's try and smash 7,777 likes. Yeah, let's start with the first pair of sneakers. Right here, we have an amazing first pair of sneakers. We have the Air Jordan 1 SB Lance Mountain. Now, what's special about this sneaker is the differences on the bottom, the, the Royal, the bread. And not only that, but this sneaker also pays homage to skaters back in the day of like 1980, 1990, who used to spray paint their sneakers and then skate them. And so the designs would come out crazy. My pair isn't exactly the craziest looking Lance Mountain. There are some pretty crazy looking Lance Mountains. I'll throw some images up of them right now because basically since both of them can be rubbed off and red, you can have a mismatch of half of the sneaker being white and half of it being colored. I've worn these so much, like it's starting to happen a little bit. Hopefully the camera's picking that up right now. Um, it's starting to happen on my pair for sure, but I just have to honestly wear them more. I feel like I've worn them over a hundred times and they've still held up. Continuing the trend with the Air Jordan SBs. Right here, we have an Air Jordan 1. This is a DS pair. I have left this one brand new because I just felt like the price was gonna shoot up. And well, that's definitely been the case on the LA to Chicago Air Jordan 1 SBs. This sneaker too has the ability to rub off with the paint so you can take this purple, change it to a red. Of course, the purple and the gold is for LA, Los Angeles. So when you rub it off, LA to Chicago, the name of the sneaker, basically you can take it from a Los Angeles sneaker and make it that red Chicago Bulls themed colorway. There is so much hype around this and another pair, which I'm about to show you guys. I wanna stand out, so I'm gonna bust these out in a couple years when people forgot about them. And these are just gonna keep going up in price, especially because it's at Jordan 1 and Jordan 1s, as we know, go up in price. If you guys wanna learn more about reselling, I I have a video which I dedicated on how to resell. You can find that in the top right hand corner of this video. So that is gonna be the I card of my selling video. Check that out when you're done with this one and you can learn about some selling tactics. This is the other pair of sneakers that has that color changing ability that came out right around the same time as the LA to Chicago's. These right here are the New York to Paris Air Jordan 1 SBs. Now, what's interesting about these is that the gray represents New York, of course, and the pink kind of represents that Paris vibe. So I took the acetone and I went shoop, and I took the Nike checks, made them pink. And you know, I also did a little lace swap and I made pink laces on the left and right black laces. So it was just honestly just a cool little custom. I made this for my TikTok. And if you guys want to follow me on there, at Blazonary, I do some little shoe customization stuff from time to time. Really whole bunch of stuff on there. I think I've worn them maybe like once or twice. So now I'm gonna show you my Nike SBs that I don't have a box for. These right here are the Nike SB Ferris Bueller's. Now Ferris Bueller's Day Off is one of my favorite movies of all time. And this is based on an outfit that Ferris Bueller wore in the movie. So you already know, I was like, yo, definitely have to add it to the collection. I really like the brown simple tones the sneaker has. It's very reminiscent of what Travis Scott's sneakers look like as well. And for some reason, dunks have just been soaring in price. Like literally the last month, every single pair of dunks I'm about to show you has increased. Like whether it's $50 or $100, like I don't understand it. It's absolutely crazy, the market right now. So, so let's talk about a Nike dunk now. 
The Nike Dunk, like I was talking about, this is the model that's catered towards basketball. And as you guys can see, it comes in just a regular Nike box, not a Nike SB box. There's a bunch of colored Nike SB boxes, but this is just a standard, like almost like a Roshi box, it reminds me of, kind of. Opening it up right here, we have the Nike Dunk Plum. Now you'll notice the primary difference between a Dunk and just a, an SB, like I was talking about, is the tongue. That's really it. This tongue, the only difference, here I'm gonna pull out a heater just to show you, ready? The tongue fatness, literally just how fat the tongue is, you could tell the thickness of it. And this dunk is just not the sneaker you're going to want to skateboard in. This actually was a color that released back in 2001, part of the Ugly Duckling series. And this sneaker fetches over $1,000 if it wasn't for the re-release. Now, when they re-released, they had a $100 price tag and they were going for about $250. 275 but now you can't find them for anywhere under cheaper than 350 brand new and i mean i just feel like that's a good segue into the travis scott's because these right here like i was just saying these are catered for skateboarding and i feel like this is one of those sneakers that is really contributing to the rise in the resale prices of nike sbs nike dunks because this there's a hype now we're getting new colorways we're getting stuff special artist collaborations and we're getting sneakers that have really cool features i'm going to show you some more really cool features that the nike dunk and the sb have which is why it's one of my favorites out of my collection just the different things you could do to it like uh, rubbing the paint off and with this one right here you skate this paisley print off right here and it reveals an elephant print underneath which is so beautiful and i actually made a video about this pair right here as well you guys can check that video out. I'll leave another little i-card in the top right-hand corner of the screen. This is just the Travis Scott SB. It also came in the Paisley colorway box, but I don't have that one. That was from his website. Uh, so this is just the regular box that released. But it's still such a really nice rainbow box. I love it. This is another one of those sneakers that has that special feature. And that's one of the reasons why I love the Nike Dunk. Right here we have the Nike SB Cheech and Chong. And what I love about this is the actual print underneath the freaking sneaker. So as you guys can see, I've already done the work and I did it for a TikTok video. So you guys can check that out, uh, my TikTok at Blazonary. But basically this sneaker is a very special one. It's based on Cheech and Chong's Up and Smoke. It was actually designed by Todd Bratchard, who we recently talked about, and I'll talk about right after this sneaker, just to kind of segue. That's uh, the movie Cheech and Chong they were in. You can burn, cut, skate the material right here, and basically, you guys see what it is. And this was actually a translucent bottom, but it's now a little bit PP yellow, so I don't know where to really tell you on that part. And the last thing I want to say, though, is it is actually the first sneaker to have a stash pouch. Um, the Travis Scott, a lot of people thought, was the first sneaker to have a stash pouch. Nope. Yeah, really cool sneaker, though. Definitely love the details put into it. Todd Bradshaw, we talked a lot about him in my unboxing of banned Nike sneaker video. Which are these? The Strawberry Cough Nike Dunks. Probably the most expensive dunk in this entire video, aside from one other pair, I would say. Maybe there's a tie. Um, this is just insane because of the fact that this sneaker has not released yet. And... I don't know if it actually will see a release. We talked all about it in a 10 minute long video. Uh, you guys can click on that I card once again uh, after you're done watching this video uh, because there's still a lot more dunks to go. What I love about this sneaker really quick though is just that material print up here. It's just, that whatever it is, like they're, they're putting premium materials on these dunks. You also have of course the Cough Cough logo which is probably the reason why these got recalled. It's just uh, very tough to get your hands on these so I know a couple really Really cool collectors and I was able to get them for the channel to show you guys in a video so definitely check that out let's discuss the Wizard of Oz tin can shiny head ass box uh, the Michigan inspired colorway of the Nike dunk Virgil Abloh creator of off-white and Louis Vuitton director basically was like yo I need to make a Nike dunk so he took basketball culture, he took a little bit of a hiking boot, and he took a little bit of a skate culture, like a little bit, and he put them all together and he created this. And this right here is actually honoring the original Nike Dunks that came out back in 85. But this is the one that I have right here. I actually got mine from the homies over at SneakerCon. And what I really like about this sneaker is just the way it looks. You don't have a sneaker with laces all over it, especially laces being a completely random color that kind of not really matches the shoe. I've worn these for an Instagram picture, but I'm probably going to keep them on ice for a little bit, maybe bust them out from time to time. I don't want to overwear them. In this Nike box, we have probably 
the craziest dunk of the entire video, the Todd Bratcher designed. Yes, we've said that name a couple times, but he's just a killer dunk designer. Uh, the Nike SB Strange Love. This sneaker right here, as you guys can see, it's got the skeleton heart on the emblem, and it's just like a velour, beautiful materials, like the premium uh, quality of it. Strange Love is a skateboarding brand. They release their own products, so Nike uh, giving them a dunk is just a huge deal. And aside from that, these have been growing in resale price like you would not believe. They dropped for $100 and they saw maybe a $300 price at first. But guys, that was at first, okay? To now $1,200 literally insane how much these have grown. You could have bought them at 300 a pair and literally made so much money still. We've seen Supreme and Nike collab numerous amounts of times. The three SBs you guys see right here, the freaking colorful SBs that they did recently. But let me just go ahead and say, these right here, the jewels, they're honoring something completely different with these. They're honoring Air Forces and Nike sneakers with that jewel logo. It's fat, it's a little bit smaller than the traditional swoosh, but it is on our SB right here with a little Supreme Star. Not much to say about these other than the fact that they are in multiple different colors. The resale price of these, not doing so great in all honesty. Um, they actually went from like a $300 sneaker to a sneaker that is now maybe around the $220 price mark. And that's just because of how many times they wanted to release them. They released them on Nike's website and Supreme's website. We talked about this one in a recent mail time. The Nike SB Money Cat came out in 2008 and had a retail price of $65. $65 for a dunk? That's absolutely crazy. So what I love about this sneaker right here is just how old and special it is. Also, I love Money Cats. Like you guys can see, there's a Money Cat right there. I mean, we have Money Cat Central over here, and basically Nike made a sneaker commemorating that. They bring like good luck, wealth, and fortune supposedly when they move their arm like that. So there's also a low version of this sneaker, which I don't have. And I'm gonna be selling this pair on my website, blazonary.com. You guys can check out all the different stuff that I'm reselling, uh, just stuff that doesn't fit me, stuff that I wanna let go of. This does not fit me, so it'll be hitting the resale market. Absolutely love this sneaker though, and I am gonna buy my own size when I get the money from selling these, so. Next up, we have a dunk that honors the city that I'm in right now, Charlotte. Uh, this is the Nike SB Black Sheep, which is a skate shop here in Charlotte. This has elephant print that honors Michael Jordan. They also have a special NBA hang tag on them. That's because they came out All-Star Weekend 2019, and this is just a beautiful pair right here. I'm very glad to own them as it's also a purple and teal color shifter, the same color as my car. Coming up on one of the final dunks of the video, not an original pink box. The pink box dunks go for a lot of money. That's like 2005 dunks. These right here, in fact, are a dunk that reminisce a 2005 dunk. This is the Panda Pigeon Nike SB. Absolutely love the pigeon and I love the, the panda as well. I've said this before in many videos that the panda and the pigeon are one of my top animals, uh, pandas number one. Now when I bought these, they were going for like 260 and that was when they came out in 2019. Um, and even still, that was like a lot of money for a dunk I felt like. But because of the recent rise in hype of dunks, this sneaker went from being $250 to like 500. And when I checked the price of these, I was like, holy shit. I had no idea. This is also a special colorway because this was like a reject colorway from a Jeff Staples original Pigeon Dunk, which sees insane amounts of money right now. This is a colorway that Nike rejected. They instead chose a different colorway. And so Nike then uh, 14 years later was like, yo, Jeff Staple, let's drop these. And he was like, of course, the Nike SB Staple Panda Pigeon. The final pair of sneakers is the pair that I'm gonna be selling from the collection as well. So there's two pairs I'm selling. This right here is the Rainbow Nike Obsidian. Now this is a sample pair and I have them on my website. You guys can see the sample photos on the website. Um, and I'm selling them because I got them for a great deal and I actually sold them already for a great deal. So that's why I can't consider them part of the collection anymore. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Stick around for the giveaway right now. We're gonna be announcing the winner of the last two videos. Congratulations to this winner right here. And for the Love by the Children tee, I wanna go ahead and say congratulations to this winner right here. Uh, if you guys wanna enter in another giveaway, I got something for you, don't worry. So instead of doing like one big giveaway a month, I, I mean, I'm doing a giveaway right now on my Instagram, so at John Carla Perch, that's a huge giveaway. But for the YouTube videos, why not do small little giveaways? So 
right here we have the Supreme Post-it Flags. Uh, if you guys wanna win this, just comment and reason why. Like the video, of course, make sure you subscribe. And if you wanna win a Supreme Parachute toy, uh, like the video, comment down below why you wanna win it, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night day. Whenever you're watching, and if you enjoyed my Nike Dunk collection, leave a like and tell me maybe what was your favorite pair. So uh, have a good one, guys. It's your boy John Carlos signing out. Stay positive and peace out.